Welcome to part 4 of my Bash scripting tutorial guide. This video will be about loops. So first off, for loops, well they're a bit different to other programming languages in that instead of going through a numerical increment or decrement or multiplication or whatever, they go through a list instead. So for this example I'll be listing out all mp4 files in my videos folder. ls produces a list and grepping it will narrow the list down to mp4. So that's the first part of the loop statement, and then we need a do at the end of it to specify doing the loop. Echo the variable i, which will be the line of the list, and then done. Now there is an alternative where you can do a numerical version of the for loop, and for the range you do open brace, one dot dot, wherever you want to go to, five in this case close brace, semicolon, space, do. And we can see where it's got to in the loop there. And then to end the loop, done. And as always, to run a bash script, type in bash, and then the name of the script. Well, that's all the mp4 files I have in my videos folder, and that's the numerical count version of a for loop. Now the next type of loops we can have, a while loop, and an alternative to that is an until loop. Let's specify a variable. Now the actual loop, while, space, square bracket, space, most importantly spaces. Now I specify a point that we want the loop to continue on until, so that's while less than 5, so while count is less than 5. Space, close square bracket, semicolon, space, do showing what the count is, and then we need some method of increasing the count ourselves because we're not in a for loop or anything, so that's let count equals count plus one, and done. The other version, an until loop, actually it's mostly the same, so we could just take what we've got there. So count is equal to zero, until, count, uh, now we loop until the condition is met, so it's actually greater than, until count is greater than five. Yep, yep, and that's it, that's the same. Save that and let's run it. There you go, the while loop so goes up until four and the until loop goes up until count is five and that's just the difference of less than and greater than. Now it's all fine and well, but what if you want the loop to continue until an unspecified time? Well, infinite loop until the break statement. While, open square bracket, space, one, space, close square bracket. Do. Now we could assume that we're in a menu here, so that statement there, do you want to leave the loop yet, could be the exit choice on the menu. Now we've seen these sort of things before on an earlier video I did about if statements, so let's just pop that in there. So you read the choice from the keyboard, if choice equals yes or y, then break. fi to end the if statement, and then to end the loop, we're done. And here's an alternate method of the infinite loop. So we can add a variable in there called loop, and then while variable loop equals one, do, do you want to leave loop yet? Same choice as before, but we change the variable when we actually want the loop to stop. Let's see how it works. infinite loop until break statement, do you want to leave loop yet, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, actually yes I do. There we are, now we're on to the alternate method, do you want to leave the loop yet, no, no, yes. There you go, that's a look at the different methods of loops in the bash script. And thanks for watching, see you later.